everyone. It is FM 99 Rock Girl Kristen, and I'm here with Adam from St. Estonia. Hello. <laughs> Adam, it's so great talking to you, and I'm so excited for the show tonight. I um, just have a few questions for you. Okay. Um, so I think a lot of our listeners would agree with me here that you have such an amazing and unique voice. How do you like practice and make sure you're keeping it healthy so that you can p- perform every night? Well, I... I don't do as much uh, warming up and stuff as I should probably um, I tend to just sing a few songs like we'll we'll be in the dressing room we'll listen to music and uh, I'll just sing along with some stuff and <laughs> yeah because it, it also when you're on tour playing every night it kind of stays warm for me it stays warm sort of so I don't really have to do a lot of warming up and I don't <laughs> blow out my voice either singing too much so yeah I don't really do a heck of a lot and I probably should warm up a little more but so far I haven't had any Hey, that's all Issues, that matters. So just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so your warm up is pretty much like your sound check and then the dressing room. <laughs> kind of, yeah, basically. Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. All right. So um, I, we know we were talking earlier today uh, that you've been on my list to see for a very long time. Uh, can you describe to me what I could expect tonight and what other people can expect from the show tonight from Saint Sonia? Well, our set um, during this tour is pretty short. It's like a, it's a thirty five minute set, so we try to pack it with uh, just as much. Uh, yeah, I don't know yeah, as much energy as we can really it, like go back and I do some old songs from uh, the three days years and uh, a couple Very other excited ones for that. <laughs> so yeah it's uh, it's a mix of kind of you know older stuff and new stuff um, but yeah no it's a it's it definitely l- a lot of energy you know because okay. we're only up there for a short while so yeah perfect yeah. I know when we were talking earlier you mentioned that's the middle of the tour so everybody's like pumped up and excited mm-hmm. and ready to go yeah yeah for mm-hmm. sure but it, it, around the middle of the tour everybody seems to be kind of on their uh, on their game and stuff um, so yeah we're, we're settled in nicely right now and should be a really good show perfect mm-hmm. I'm excited all right and then I know um, Skillet is one of the performers tonight and you have a recent single with them that you featured in finish line uh, can you tell me about what's like working with Skillet and being on that single with them yeah, they're. I mean, they're great people. I've known them for years since uh, you know, early, again, three days years, like 2002, 2003 is when we started touring with them. So, yeah, I've been friends with them for a long time, and um, I mean, I love that song. Uh, John asked me to be a part of it, and I, I was immediately than, yes. <laughs> yeah, I was more than happy to be a part of it. It's such such a great song, and yes. yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be a part of it for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Mm-hmm. And so. If you don't know, we're obviously sitting in the tour bus right now. I know we mentioned earlier you guys were used to be on a bus. Can you describe like the movement from bus to tour bus, how it changes oh. everything, anything like that? Yeah, we were. Well, we were on a. We used to be in a van, a pretty, which is normally where it starts. Uh, yeah, we converted an old school bus, a short school bus. That, again, early, early three days, like 2002. Uh, how we started was in a short school bus converted with uh, a couple couches and a pull-out bed in the back so it was very <laughs> makeshift uh to, but it was great i mean it, it worked yeah you, know? you had a bed <laughs> yeah we had we had a bed we i mean i'll be we had to share beds <laughs> but you know but whatever yeah no it was good but it's nice to be in a bus for sure you know okay. um yeah that's the ideal ideal situation is to everybody be comfortable when you're traveling so yeah i mean it is pretty comfortable and nice <laughs> yeah it's pretty cozy in here yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right so we asked some fm99 listeners uh some questions to ask for you mm-hmm. so i have a couple here right now that our listeners are asking all right. um this is from chase he wants to know if you can describe what it's like performing at festivals and if you have a preference for bigger festivals versus smaller festivals and also if you have a like a favorite fes- festival that you performed at before some good questions there. Uh, <laughs> festivals are great because I uh, usually get to, aside from playing, a, you know, a big show um, to a lot of people, you get to uh, run into other bands and stuff like that. So that's a, a, it's almost like a reunion type thing when you get to a festival and there's just so many bands. No. It, it's just really nice. Um, but yeah, big ones, small ones doesn't really matter. I don't think. I mean, bigger festivals are always uh, quite exciting, I guess. Uh, but it played lots of smaller festivals that were pretty awesome too. Uh, so yeah, I mean, festivals are fun. And what was the last question? Um, if you have like a favorite festival that you performed oh, at before. Favorite one. There's a lot out a, there. Yeah, that's a hard <laughs> question. There's I mean, there's a bunch of really good ones. Um, we did I did play a festival in Brazil many oh, wow. years ago. It was at the Rock in Rio 
site where they had where they held rock and roll, and that was pretty cool. We were the only international band. So it was all Brazilian bands, and then uh, so that was, yeah, it was kind of cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah. How long did you get to stay in Brazil for that? Um, I think we were there for about a week. Oh, maybe. so you got to explore a little bit, have a some little fun. bit. Yeah. yeah, we played two shows: the festival show and then one show in Sao Paulo, and okay, and then we flew home so yeah we were there for a few days that's but, awesome yeah very cool yeah, it was nice all for right. sure all right the next question is from joshua um he wants to know your dream band to collaborate collaborate with and why <laughs> it's also a tough question <laughs> um yeah there's lots out there uh i mean i've always i've always been a big fan of uh like the Deftones are uh, mm. one of my favorites. Um, that would be an awesome combination right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, I grew up listening to the Seattle music scene, like Pearl Jam and mm. Alice in Chains and stuff. So, I mean, any uh, any collab with Eddie Vedder or Pearl Jam would be a lot of fun, too. Awesome. Yeah. I would have to agree. Yeah. Dave, let's do what we can to make that work. <laughs> yeah. Make that happen. Or give Eddie a call. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the last question from one of our fans, it's from Patrick. He wants to know what you guys have in store for 2024, if there's any new albums or singles coming out. Yeah, uh, all of it. We're we're gonna uh, we're gonna be touring a lot. We're announcing a couple tours like very shortly, actually. Um, so early next year, and then into the spring. I know we're going out with Stained and Seether for a little bit. Ooh. We are working on uh, we are working on some new music too. So um, yeah, we should have couple more hopefully at least one more single next year early next year and then lots of touring awesome any yeah. hints on what the new single might be like <laughs> no because we have no idea yet we're just like <laughs> super early stages of kind of putting ideas together That's in the so works. yeah yeah we're, but uh we'll definitely get something done i think sooner than later perfect yeah. well yeah. super excited for all of that and all awesome. these tours are amazing so yeah all right one last question that i just like to ask for fun okay. if you could do anything other than music what would it be a good one probably play baseball i'd probably be okay. a, a pitcher I, I mean i'd try to be a pitcher. <laughs> but you, i used to pitch when i was a kid and i've always loved baseball yeah yeah do you so. have a favorite sports team or baseball team now well i'm from toronto originally so yeah. definitely the blue jays yeah yeah yeah, that makes sense. yeah yeah i'm i'm starting to get a little fed up with the blue jays so i might have to jump <laughs> ship here shortly but <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it's always the Jays. It's always Toronto teams. All right, yeah. Adam from the Blue Jays. <laughs> there you go. go. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, it was super great talking to you. Thank you for taking the time today. Of super excited to see you guys tonight. And then, guys, Adam from St. Asonia. <laughs>